Welcome to another video tutorial by codeswag.co.uk. In this follow-on video to installing Ionic on Windows, I'm going to be showing you how to create a basic application. So let's start off by creating a new project. In our command prompt, we simply need to type in Ionic Start. And after pressing enter, we are prompted to enter a project name. I'm going to call it Code Swag Demo. And we are asked to pick a framework. I'm going to go with Angular, so I'll just press enter. And we are asked to come up with a starter template. Let's go with blank, which is the simplest template that we can use. And now our project is being created. So we just need to wait for a few minutes while this is done. Okay, awesome. So our application has been created. We're just going to clear our screen and let's navigate into the application folder. CD and we want to do code swag demo and we are inside the project folder. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to open a, another CMD window. So let me just search for CMD. And the reason is I now want to run the application in the browser. So again, let me just make sure that in this window, I am in my project uh, folder. And when you're inside your project folder, you want to run the command Ionic serve. So this will start up a local instance of a Node.js server and it will open your Ionic project in the browser. So there we go. And if we go to our Chrome DevTools, then we can see our application. There it is running. So now let's go back to our main command prompt window. And what we want to do in here is to type in code and a dot, and that's going to open the project in Visual Studio Code. So now in Visual Studio Code, we want to be switching back and forth from our browser to Visual Studio Code. And what we want to do is to make some changes to our application. So we need to go to source and app, home, and we want to open home.page.html and home no we're going to only open home.page.html so that's it for now and we can see that this is what we have in our application so if we change our ion title here let's change it to code swag .co.uk and we want to change this text um, a bit later but let's see the result of these changes so if we go up here, we'll see that codeswag.co.uk becomes the title of our app screen right here. So I want to get rid of this stuff, the default content, and then we're just going to have a completely blank screen. So let's head over to the Ionic documentation so that I can show you how you can use it in your projects. If you open your web browser to ionicframework.com forward slash docs, you will see the Ionic Framework documentation. So we want to go to components and this will give you all the UI components that are available in the Ionic UI library. The one that I'm interested in is the Ion card. So let's click here. And if we scroll down, sorry this is react i want to go to angular and it will show us the markup for the ion card so i want to copy the whole ion card here so let's go back to our project and we want to paste this in so there we go so i want to save this and go back to the browser preview and we can see we have 
our card showing up there. So this looks a little bit boring. I want to add a, an image. So let me add the code swag logo. So what we want to do is go to file explorer in windows and this is my project directory and here's our project code swag demo so if we go to source and assets and this is the folder that will contain the assets for our applications so i'm just gonna go over and copy the code swag logo that i have here so now it's in the source assets of our project. So let's get back to the code editor. And back in the code editor, I want to add my image right up here. So I'm going to type in I am sorry, let me just put in IMG. I have the Emmet plugin so I can uh, quickly type in my markup. So the source is going to be the assets folder forward slash code swag dot PNG. That's going to be our image. And I'm just going to put in an alt text of code swag logo. So if we save this and let's head back to the browser to see the changes. And we can see we have our nice uh, logo right there. So the front page is looking very good. Let's head back. I want to get rid of this subtitle. And in place of this, let me just add some custom text. So code swag. So I've just put in a little bit of information about code swag and let me change the title up here. So this will be codeswag.co.uk as well. Let's preview the changes and we can see everything is looking great. So this is our home page and in this demonstration, I also want to show you how you can create other pages and link to those pages using the angular router so next we want to head back to our command line and in our command line we want to type in the command ionic generate page login so this tells ionic that we want to generate a new page and call it login and when we press enter it's going to run the routine and create a new page. Let's head back to the code editor. And in the code editor, when we open the file browser, we can see that there's this new folder called login. And inside the login folder, we have all the files that make up our new login page. So now let's open the HTML file. And we also want to open the TypeScript file. And if we close this and go back to our application, we see that we are still on the home page. That's because the home page is the default page for our application. So now let's try to change our default page. So let's head back to the code. And back in the code, we want to open the file explorer. Let's close this and we want to open this file app routing .ts. after opening the file let's close the panel and we can see we have this constant called routes that has an array of objects so each object here is representing a route or a page in our application that's the default route this is the route for the home page and this is a new route that was created by that ionic generate page command so you can see that we have our login page there so here in the default route it says that if we have no path we're going to be redirected to home if we go back to our browser we can see that uh, we if we just go to uh, where the server is running 81.01 .01, we are led to the home page we're redirected to the home page if 
we have nothing in the URL. All right, so let's change this from redirect to home to redirect to login. And as soon as we save this and we go back to our plain URL, you'll see we are now redirected to the login page. So now the login page is the default page for our application. All right, great. Let's go back to our code editor. So in our code editor, let's close this. We no longer need that. Um, I want to copy over this ion card from the home page and I want to put it in the login page. So I'm going to paste it here and you can see um, Visual Studio Code has this annoying thing where there's like uh, like two tabs here and actually three at the bottom. So we can fix that by just highlighting and then pressing Control or Command and the left uh, square bracket. So that's going to move everything over to the left. And let me do it one more time. I just like it when all my code is perfectly aligned. And yep, let me just say codeswag.code.uk. All right, save. And if we go back, we'll see that our login page now is a copy of um, our home page. But of course, we don't want it to be just a copy. We actually want it to be a login page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this stuff inside the content of our Ionic card and save and check it out and all of that is gone and i want to go back to the documentation and here on the documentation i want to look for an ion first of all let's see the ion item so the ion item um, creates like a list for us so if we go to angular you can see that we have we can have an ion item with the label and stuff inside. So I also want to look for an ion input. Where's the input input? All right, ion input. All right, so the ion input will create inputs. So what I want to do is have a login form. So if we scroll down, let's go to Angular. And I want to use this input with a placeholder. So let me copy that and back to our code editor. First, I want to put in an ion item. Um, so we have our ion item and inside that ion item, we are going to have the first input. So um let me go back and we okay now i also want an ion label so let's put our label right there so this is gonna be a username and our placeholder text is gonna be username and let me save that and check it out in the preview and we can see we have that username field so, um, actually it doesn't look so good with the iron label so let me just remove that iron label and see what it looks like when it's yeah all right that looks great username uh, so the placeholder is also going to act as our label so the next thing i want to do i'm just going to copy this and paste it right below and this is going to be our password and there's a special attribute value here which is going to be type and i'll put in password again so you will then see that we have our username and password and you can see chrome is already trying to fill in uh, saved passwords so we can tell that our login form is working great um, we have one issue though which is oh no I want to demonstrate on password so 
because we put in the type as password, you can see that anything that we type into here is going to be masked, right? Which is what we expect from passwords and forms. It's it seems a little bit tight here. So let me add some space by adding an HTML break. And you can see now we have a little bit more space. That's great. Um, finally, let's add another break and let's uh, create a button that we click on in order to log in. So I'm going to create an ion button and the text in the button is going to be log in. And here we have our nice login button right here. But if we click the button, nothing happens. Let's add a click listener. And when the click, when the button is clicked, we're going to run a method called log me in. This is going to be a method for the class for our page. So if you go back and we click nothing happens and we get an error saying log me in is not a function that's because we haven't created that function so for that we need to go to login.page.ts and inside our login page class we need to create that method so log me in and there we go so if we save this even with nothing inside, if we save that and go back to our application and click login, we no longer get that error. But of course, nothing happens because there's no code inside. So let's uh, put in the code for logging in the user. So I'm just going to put, put in a comment that says code for logging in user goes here. Um, but since this is a very simple demonstration of our very first Ionic 4 app, I am going to just simply log in the user, no matter what username and password they put in, even if they, uh, even if it is blank. So when we do that, we are going to say this dot router dot navigate. And of course, after logging in, we want the user to be taken to the home page. So they're going to navigate to slash home. But I have this red squiggly line and this error telling me that the property router does not exist on the tab login page. And that is because we need to actually import the router. It comes from the Angular library. So let's go up here and say import and we're going to import the router from at angular slash router and in our constructor we are going to create a private variable called router and it's going to be of the type router that we just imported up here. So this is the same thing. And you'll notice that the squiggly line has disappeared because this is now valid code. If I save this and I go back to the preview, um, doesn't matter what our username and password is. This is just pre-filled by Chrome. And when we click on that, we are taken to our home page. So that's it for our simple demo application. We have seen how to work with Ionic cards, how to use the Ionic documentation, and how to use the router and to route between two different pages. In the next video, I will show you how you can run this application in the Android emulator and iOS simulator. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. If you'd like to support this channel, head over to codeswag.co.uk forward slash shop and purchase some cool gadgets and developer merchandise and help us to create more tutorials like this one. Thank you very much and have a nice day.